Hey, how's it going guys? Saad here and in this tutorial, I'm gonna teach you about the mscripten and what's the purpose of mscripten. So up to now, we learned the basics of WebAssembly module and loading onto the browser by means of JavaScript API. Having that knowledge is invaluable. From this point on, we're gonna use mscripten instead. In short, mscripten is a LLVM to JavaScript compiler that can also generate WebAssembly modules. In the past, mscripten not created for this reason, but due to the rise of WebAssembly, mscripten changed its focus to that. So until now, we use wasm fiddle for generating our wasm module for testing and learning, but ultimately compile our own WebAssembly modules and have complete control of that process. So that's where mscripten comes in. More to that later. So compiling our own code requires LLVM or CLang command line tools or even an IDE like Max Xcode or Microsoft Visual Studio. But this requires deeper understanding of these tools and compilation in general. And what mscripten provide us in this situation is a single tool set with LLVM bundle inside with C and C++ support enabling quick and customizable WebAssembly module development with some added features for make the technology more usable today. Some of the features are JavaScript library Primble.js which provide us with very handy JavaScript to C utilities including tasks we already discussed like reading string from the memory and then there is mscripten.h a C library provide us a similar convenience from C to JavaScript methods and even html5.h for binding C code to the browser like click, keystrokes, etc. So a lot of sugar or convenience on mscripten based WebAssembly projects. And last but not least, mscripten provide us all the glue codes for loading and initiating a WebAssembly module. Right now there is no other tool set nearly as good as mscripten. So from the next lesson we will learn how to you can install and use mscripten. So see you guys then.